Welcome back to Walt Disney's Treasures DVDs. And we're finishing up the series here with the final two releases. Mickey Mouse in Living Color 1 and 2. And this right here was actually in Wave 1. It was one of the first ones. You see I've got copy 18,882 out of 150,000. Not a bad number at all there. And these numbers were stamped in on the first two waves. So we've got Wave 1 release here of In Living Color and Wave 3 release of In Living Color Volume 2 to look at here. So this one has no certificate of authenticity. It was stamped into the 10. The uh, next one that we'll look at will have a cert with it because this was from Wave 3 when they had stopped stamping the collector's numbers into the tens. And I really, really love this series of DVD releases. Um, Disney did a wonderful job on these. Leonard Malton did a great job of encouraging them to do them and his input uh, was invaluable to the production. And I'm just absolutely thrilled to death to have these in my library of DVDs. It would be great if Disney would relive the series and issue them on Blu-rays, but um, don't think that's going to happen, especially not in any uncensored versions um, with the way they've been in recent years. Um, I don't think that this series would come to light in this day and age as it did 20 years ago. But there's our uh, Walt and Mickey on the front cover, as they are on almost all of them. Um, I've repeated myself uh, a few times already, but once more I'll say the only booklet in the series that's different is on the front lines which uh, had the most copies printed. There were 150,000, by the way, of this one made. Uh, and there's only 175,000 of the Wave 3 one made. There was a different quantity on each one of these, which is kind of strange, I thought. You know, they put out 125 of black and white, number one, 175 of black and white, number two, 150 of color, number one, and 175 of color number two. So it's kind of really weird. You, you, there's not going to be enough copies for everyone to have a complete run of the series. And uh, I don't understand what the logic or reasoning was behind that, but those are the facts. Those are the numbers. That's what was produced and released onto the market. And um, that's, the way it is. So here we've got um, Wave 1, all four releases, and we have videos up on the channel covering all four of those now. So if you want to see the whole series, with the exception of the two that I do not own, I did not get the Legendary Heroes, and I did not get the uh, Mickey Mouse, I mean, excuse me, the Hardy Boys. Um, I do have the Movie Watchers Club version of the Hardy Boys in the video um, that would have been in place of the Treasures. So you can see that if you would like to. I don't know how they differ because I never saw the Disney Treasures version of the Hardy Boys. I only saw the version that I have. So what extra features or stuff were on them, I can't tell you. But um, I thought this was funny. Mickey Mouse's original name was Mortimer. <laughs> what a terrible name for a mouse. Gee, I'm so glad they changed it to Mickey. <laughs> and then this uh, catalog was in all of the Wave 1 releases. I covered this in, um, I believe, the Silly Symphonies video. So I'm not going to cover it again here because it is an extensively large booklet with a lot of pages and it's just not really all that exciting to tell you the truth but on the back of it it does advertise um, uh, all for the um, first wave and points out that they were all uncensored uh, which was nice we, we didn't get things cut up or sanitized for us they showed them the way they were made and I for one I'm grateful that they did. 
Um, Mickey Mouse in Living Color, Volume 2. And as I stated before, this was from Wave 3. Came out May 18th of 2004. So it took four years to get all of the Mickey Mouse treasures released um, from uh, 2001 to 2004. And um, like I've also stated previously, if you watch these um, wave one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> they're going to be a little bit out of sequence on the commentaries because I filmed them backwards. I started with wave nine Zorro and worked my way up. To this being the final video in the series for us on the channel. And this is the uh, band that went around the 10. Um, they uh, only did those on the first three waves and on Zorro they brought them back. And this was wave three, that is, the first wave that I noticed had these limited series stickers on them. So the first two waves don't have those stickers. But it's really, really great to have all the Mickey Mouse cartoons in one collection, one, one place. And I can sit down and watch them from the start to the, well, not really to the end because they're still making Mickey Mouse cartoons. They're still making shorts. Mickey is still alive and well. And it's been 20 years, 22 years, since the first one of these. And uh, there's been quite a few Mickey titles released in that time frame. So we can't really say they're all here, but the classic years are the bulk of the creative output is here in these treasures to be enjoyed for everyone that can get their hands on them anyways but yeah it would be really really awesome if they would reissue these on blu-ray and put out the new treasure series wouldn't it i mean that would just be so sweet i'd buy them again i'd be happy to pick them up again but uh, i doubt that it'll happen and if it did it probably would not be uncensored the way these were But I really hope you've enjoyed looking over these Disney treasures with me. I've certainly enjoyed making these videos to share with you. And uh, they'll be there as long as YouTube lets them be there. I have no intention of ever deleting my channel, that's for sure. <laughs> I won't do it. <laughs> so, here we've got the uh, four releases from Wave 3, all of which have been covered. Uh, like I said, there's that on the front lines. It was different in so many ways. It had a different band. It had a different booklet. It varied from the norm. Uh, most of the rest of them followed the same format. But uh, here are Lin what did they call it? Lithograph. Collector's Lithograph is from Walt Disney's Fantasia. I believe this is actually just a reproduction of the movie poster. So whatever they want to call it, lobby card, lithograph, postcard, I've heard them called a number of things by different people in different studios in different DVD releases over the years. Um, but the Sorcerer's Apprentice thought by, is thought by many to be Mickey's finest role. Well, who, who doesn't remember him uh, in the dancing mops? And <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, definitely. Definitely a good one. So here's our certificate of authenticity because this was wave three. This was the first wave that contained these certificates. And uh, you can see I got a pretty high number there. 138,894 out of the 175,000. And I bought this the day it came out or the day after that it came out. Uh, not sure when, but I bought it as soon as I got my hands on it. And correcting an oversight from Wave 7's video that I made, when I was showing this booklet um, that came in Wave 7, um, it was the Disneyland Secrets 
um, release that had this booklet in it, I failed to show the back page. So even though I did show all of these pages and um, covered it pretty well, this is for souvenir purposes only, you know, um, I wanted to just take a minute here at the end of this video because I figured we would have time to show this booklet off again. It's a really cool reproduction booklet anyways, so it's really nice to see. Um, that was only in that one one volume, Disneyland Secrets from Wave 7, that had this booklet in it. And I, like I said, I covered whoop, <laughs> I covered it pretty well in that video, but after, gosh darn it, behave. But after doing that, I put it to the side and you did not get to see the back of the booklet. So, correcting that oversight here at the end of the series, and I want to thank all of those who have spent the time with me to go through these. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's brought back some memories. And um, I wish all of you nothing but the best. And I hope you have a wonderful life. And we'll see you again another day for more physical media that I have to share with you.